The human mind is a complex and enigmatic realm, capable of storing vast amounts of information, yet also susceptible to forgetting and distortion. Repressed memories, a concept that has sparked intense debate in the field of psychology, refer to the involuntary pushing away of traumatic or disturbing experiences into the unconscious mind. These memories, though seemingly inaccessible, are believed to exert a powerful influence on an individual's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. The notion of repressed memories raises fundamental questions about the nature of memory, the reliability of our own recollections, and the potential for buried trauma to shape our lives. The implications of repressed memories extend far beyond the realm of academic discourse, impacting clinical practice, legal proceedings, and societal perceptions of trauma and recovery. Understanding the complexities and controversies surrounding repressed memories is crucial for navigating these sensitive and often emotionally charged issues. This essay delves into the history, science, and implications of repressed memories, shedding light on the ongoing debate and the need for a balanced and evidence-based approach. The concept of repressed memories can be traced back to the late 19th century, with Sigmund Freud the father of psychoanalysis, playing a pivotal role in its development. Freud posited that the human mind employs defense mechanisms to cope with overwhelming or unacceptable thoughts and experiences. Repression, according to Freud, was one such mechanism, serving to banish painful memories from conscious awareness, protecting the individual from psychological distress. Freud's theories, though groundbreaking and influential, were largely based on clinical observations and lacked empirical support. Nevertheless, the concept of repression took root in the field of psychology, shaping therapeutic approaches and influencing popular culture's understanding of trauma and memory. Throughout the 20th century, the idea of repressed memories continued to evolve, with subsequent theorists expanding upon Freud's initial formulations. The late 20th century witnessed the eruption of the memory wars, a heated debate between proponents and critics of repressed memories. On one side of the battle line stood clinicians and researchers who argued that repressed memories were a real and prevalent phenomenon, often surfacing during therapy as individuals grappled with unexplained psychological symptoms. They contended that traumatic experiences, particularly childhood sexual abuse, could be so overwhelming that the mind would bury them deep in the unconscious, only to resurface years or even decades later. On the opposing side, memory scientists and skeptics challenged the validity of repressed memories, arguing that there was insufficient scientific evidence to support their existence. They cautioned that memories were malleable and susceptible to distortion, and that therapeutic techniques aimed at uncovering repressed memories could inadvertently lead to the creation of false memories. The memory wars exposed deep divisions within the field of psychology, highlighting the challenges of studying subjective experiences and the potential for bias to influence both clinical practice and scientific inquiry. The debate surrounding repressed memories has fueled extensive research into the nature of memory and the mechanisms by which traumatic experiences are encoded and retrieved. Studies investigating repressed memories have employed both retrospective and prospective methodologies, each with its own strengths and limitations. Retrospective studies involve asking individuals to recall past experiences, often relying on self-report measures. While such studies can provide valuable insights into subjective experiences, they are limited by the potential for memory distortions and biases. Prospective studies, on the other hand, follow individuals over time, assessing their memories of events that occurred in the past. These studies offer a more objective approach but are often challenging to conduct, particularly when investigating sensitive topics like trauma. Despite decades of research, the scientific evidence regarding repressed memories remains inconclusive. While some studies have reported findings suggestive of repressed memories, others have failed to replicate these results or have offered alternative explanations.